Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm I'm going to be flipping through this reading journal. In case you didn't know, and I don't blame you because I actually haven't talked about it too much on this channel or on my Instagram account, which I'm planning on changing. But um, I'm a huge reader. I love to read. I've been reading ever since I can remember. Um, the only thing is that I haven't been too, you know, like too self-disciplined in tracking my books. So the past few years I've used Goodreads, the app, to track what I'm reading, but I don't normally leave reviews other than maybe, you know, like the star rating. Um, and... I've always wanted to find a good journal or reading log to maybe help me um, or encourage me or inspire me to write a review. And it's definitely not the books because there have been quite a few books where, you know, I've enjoyed them and they've become some of my favorites. But I just, I don't know. I just don't get motivated to leave a review sometimes so I don't I tried doing it on my happy planner like I've tried tracking it that way using a monthly view um using a monthly view or you know kind of using some of the checklists like I don't know like I've tried multiple ways to kind of get me to start doing that and to start tracking and to start leaving reviews but for some reason, it just hasn't worked. So when I started digital, pl digital planning and finding this community, one of the first things I was on the hunt for was a reading journal or a reading log of some sort. And I came across this one. And this one is on Etsy. I found a shop type Maven. And I'll leave all this information down below. Um, but... When I first looked through it, I thought, you know, this was going to be a good reading journal. I thought this was going to be it. And then the thing that discouraged me was the fact that I purchased it in April. And I kind of just wasn't, you know, I kind of didn't think it was worth starting four months into the year. I don't know. I have a bad habit of talking myself out of things fairly quickly. So... I ended up not using it and that probably um, is the reason why when I recently flipped through this reading journal to do this video, I kind of wasn't feeling it anymore. So I'm going to do this video on this flip, flip through. Maybe you guys can give me some kind of, you know, I don't know, support or words of advice or even um, suggest some other shops that offer reading journals or reading logs, even if it's inserts or just something like that that maybe you use or that you are aware of. That way I can um, do my research a little bit more. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of just leaning towards not using it is because I did not do sufficient research. I thought I did, but really you know, I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and flip through this. And um, yeah, if, again, if you guys have any advice or something on how I can use the page, definitely let me know because I'm open to all suggestions. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first page here just kind of goes over what's included in the journal. Um, here on the top, left corner you're gonna see just a brief note from um the owner of type maven her name is marina and then down here you'll see down on the left corner you'll see that um she kind of gives you some tips in case you run out of room and then it lets you know what uh templates are included in here so this first page here or second page I guess would be where you can place your favorite stickers and I'm assuming um, these would be your favorite bookish stickers 
So you can leave them here, that way it's just easier to grab and copy and paste. This next page is the bookshelf, and I think it includes about 40 books, if I'm not mistaken. And I like the layout of this. I like how a lot of people are using like bookshelves to either jot down the books that they've read or that they want to read and kind of color it in as they go. So this definitely is one of my favorite pages. And then down here on the right corner gives you a little key that you can use. This next page is the goals page. So I really liked this part right here. So you have the current year, how many books you want to read, how many books you want to read a month, your favorite authors, your favorite genre, any main goals, and then any extra things you want to add. And then I liked the multiple areas of check boxes because I figured I can use that for maybe books coming out this year or like most most anticipated releases or even or you know at the beginning of the year some you know author events or book events but that's probably not going to be happening for some time um but I thought that was a good idea in how I act you know at least was going to be using them and then this next page is the reading log. So this is the books that you have read throughout the year or, you know, this is where you would jot down what book you read. And I really like this one because it doesn't ask for a review, which in a later page it will, but this one didn't ask for a review, and this is kind of more of what I'm looking for. Just simple, write down, um, you know, the title of the book, who wrote it. I don't mind so much of the start and finish date. I wish it would have added to star rating instead, but, you know, I can always, I guess, use it how I want to, and just kind of cross that out, but um, yeah, I really like this page. The next page is the wish list. So this is where I, this is basically your TBR, you know, your, the books that you're planning on reading either for the month or however, you know, you wanted to track it. But, um, I don't like how it's a planned start date. I don't know. I just, I'm more of a mood reader. So it's really hard to get me to commit to starting a book. It's like I pick up a book on a whim sometimes. And if it's good enough, I finish it that same day. If, you know, if I have the time, otherwise it'll be done within a day or two. But I'm just too much of a mood reader to actually be able to commit to something like a planned start date. So here's where we get into the reviews. So... I like how simple it is, um, but like there are some things where I, I don't know, like I'm just not focused on like the publish date, the number of pages. I don't know why that's important. Maybe, I, I don't know if you guys have an answer to that or why you use a publish date and number of pages. I just don't base my books off, you know, how big or small they are. Like if they're 500 pages and if it's an author like I'm gonna read it if it's a novella with 80 pages I'm gonna read it I don't know it's just and I don't care when it's published I don't know um and then date started date finished I understand why people want to track that but it's just not important to me maybe the finished date is important you know kind of just to let you know what you read when you read it, but they started, I don't know. So then here are the short, synops short synopsis. Um, like, I'm okay with just giving a brief overview, but then, like, when it comes to writing my thoughts, I guess the main reason why I don't like leaving reviews is because I am scared to give away a spoiler. Like, I don't know how not to tell you about something 
without knowing what's going to spoil it for you. Like, there are times where I go into a book without reading, you know, the story synopsis because I don't want to know too much. I feel like, similar to movie trailers, they kind of give away too much sometimes and I don't want to know, you know? So, I don't know. I'm just a little particular about some things, but, um, but... Yeah, so I won't really write synopsis. I'll write down my thoughts. And I think that that's better, I guess, instead of review. So, I don't know. Like, review sounds more professional, whereas my thoughts is more personal, right? And then down at the bottom are your favorite quotes. So then here we go into the journal section. Um, and it offers so many different kinds of templates. And I don't know why a journal is needed if we already have the reviews page. You know, like we already have the wish list, we already have the log, um, and we already have the goals page. It's like, what more do you need to add? But again... I don't know. I just feel as if maybe there are too many pages, but let's just go through them. So you have this blank page, you have a lined page, a dot grid, in case you can't tell, dot grid. Um, then you have the graph, and you have, I guess, Cornell note style backwards, I guess. Um, so you have lined here on the left side and then blank on the right. And then you flip it. So this is more maybe like Cornell Notes style. Blank on the left and lined on the right. And then you start getting into like the fancy pages where you have like, you know, the background. Um, and then lined page. And you got some color. More lined page. And then you have just some simple deco on a few pages here. And then, I don't know, like some of these, I just don't see the purpose in them. And I consider myself a writer. Like, I think I like to write. So, I just don't get... The reason behind all these papers like if what if your thoughts on them are too much you know you need extra pages to write I guess would be one reason I mean they're pretty they're really pretty I mean I bought this obviously for a reason but yeah I mean I don't know I don't know I mean looking through it again and hearing my thoughts that may seem a little, um, I don't know, too picky, I guess. Maybe, maybe I do need to give it a chance before I look into others or purchase another. I do want to look into others before making a final decision, but I am going to give this one a try. I think I am going to fill in a bunch of the, um, maybe not goals, because we're already more than halfway through the year and I cannot remember what my original goals were but um so maybe not this one so much maybe here the books that I've read all right and then the books that I'm looking forward to for the next few months all right here and then just kind of give some quick reviews maybe maybe I can use it still not as much as I wanted to you know, a few months ago, but I mean, it's still useful, of course, so, but yeah, don't be afraid to leave me comments, I really and genuinely want to hear from you guys, um, especially as far as reading journals go, if you use one, please let me know, um, any books that you guys are reading, let me know, I'm into horror, um, and then, of course, I do like my rom-coms, I do some romance. I don't like like the heavy, you know, erotica stuff, <laughs> but I do like a good romance. Um, those are like my vice 
when I'm in a reading rut, I tend to pick up um, uh, Penelope Ward and Vi Keeland. Those are the two, or V Keeland is a V. Um, those are the two romance authors that I read a lot of, and even Whitney G. I read a lot of. So, um, but horror, I like horror. I like um, thrillers. I like um, literary fiction. So, I don't know. I'm open to all kinds of books. So, definitely leave your recommendations down below. Any um, reading logs that you do, even if it's physical, maybe you guys purchased a... I know I've seen a reading planner go around. It's on Etsy, but I can't find it for some reason. So, if you know which one I'm talking about, definitely leave it down below. Um, and, yeah, I think I've done more than enough talking. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked this video, definitely leave a thumbs up. Um, that will let me know that, you know, you guys are interested in these kinds of videos outside of Plan With Me's. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!